This Rapid Sheet Metal Tech Tip reviews two common aluminum alloys, 6061T6 and 5052H32, and choosing the correct alloy for sheet metal parts. The aluminum alloy most commonly used by sheet metal fabricators is 5052H32. 5052H32 has the best welding characteristics of all the aluminums and has excellent finishing qualities. 5052H32 forms well because it has a high modulus of elasticity. This same characteristic of 5052H32 makes it a bad choice for machining because it tends to gall up the end mill. It has a machinability rating of 88%. The aluminum alloy used most commonly by machine shops is 6061, hardened to a T6 condition. 6061T6 machines easily because it forms small chips better which means you can machine faster without clogging end mills with chips. This same characteristic of 6061T6 makes it a bad choice for sheet metal fabrication because it tends to crack when forming. Parts formed with 5052H32 aluminum will not break at the bend even if there is a sharp bend radius as small as 30 thousandths of an inch. However, parts formed with the aluminum alloy 6061T6 that have a bend radius less than two times the material thickness will break at the bend. If the bend radius is greater than two times the material thickness for 6061T6 aluminum, the part will not break at the bend radius. However, a two times the material thickness bend radius may not be desired or even an option for sheet metal parts. For instance, when corners are welded. For your reference, common radii tooling is listed. As an example, if 6061T6 was the desired material for a 90 thousandths thick part, the appropriate forming tool would be one with a 0.187 inch radius or larger. In review, 5052H32 is standard aluminum alloy used for fabricating precision sheet metal parts. It is readily available and less expensive than 6061T6. 6061T6 may be used for flat parts or when an inside bend radii greater than two times the material thickness is allowable. This concludes our Rapid Sheet Metal Tech Tip, 6061T6 versus 5052H32. Thank you for watching.